God's a record label that's been going for one year and it's brought out 12 records by all sorts of Bristol bands. And um, the main achievement so far is that we haven't a clue what we're doing and, um, and we've got very far by doing it. And if we carry on not having a clue with what we're doing, then we'll know exactly how to do it for the future. And by this, we know... <laughs> Barnell Youth Club, which used to be a legal aerosol arts project. I used to paint here, then moved on to uh, start producing Yayu t-shirts using similar graffiti shapes. Me and Tom used to do the graffiti like illegally and we just thought of a legal venture that we could get into and get our artwork out on the streets. You know, you get a good buzz when you see someone wearing one of your shirts walking down the street. Kelly's is the place to be. We get everybody in here from rabbis to rock stars. It's okay. I'm not here. It's okay. Into shopping, Bristol's a great place. It's got specialist shops for just about everything. This is Time Is Right downstairs at Tribal One. They get all the new dance releases in and they've got a good selection of oldies. I come to these two shops, Palace Garage and Boney Moroni. Great shoes, great clothes, leather trousers, leather jackets, anything you could want, rock and roll style. Slayton Cable is one of a new breed of shops opening in Bristol. It's run by Angelo and stocks such names as Stussy, Duffer of St George, Halo Cooper and Free. Plus, an interesting line in massages. We're going to come in with Delroy Wilson track entitled Picture on the Wall. Going out to Mr Music Stax, Queen Bee and Ras you know, we are a pirate radio station and we are illegal. We take the risks because we, we know there, there's a need for what we're doing here. The majority of music that we do play will not be broadcast on commercial stations. Music is a way of life in a community like St Paul's. We've been on the air two years. 2nd of January this year, we're going to be coming off the air. We had to get off the air in order to get a licence. We need £330,000 to get us up and running for a year. There's no point in going to the old market and saying, listen, we want a radio station. We have to make the people believe in us.
The reason skating in Bristol has kept going is because we've always had a shop here. We've, all, we've always had skate parks. <laughs> Bristol's kept going all through the years because we've got Shiners. And Rollermania. And Rollermania but <laughs> Shiners mainly. Because no, Rollermania mainly. <laughs> Not Rollermania. <laughs> they, they supply all the ramps. But we're lucky we've got like three concrete skate parks, which have always been here more or less since like the 70s or whatever. And, you know, there's always been somewhere to skate. They're actors, really. Yeah. <laughs> They've been told to say this. It had to be you. Yeah, we're currently working on our new project. Uh, working titles, something like Bugs and Ornamental Rugs. Fugs? Maybe mugs, Fugs. maybe rugs, who knows? Uh, and you might remember us from our earlier days. We're the men from Skate Mutants in the Fifth Dimension. Bigger selling fanzine of a couple of years back. Oh, and we made something like that with a bit of... Ooh, a bit of this. Bit of that. A lot of bit this. Bit of this. A lot Slap of them all together on sheets like this. And you come up with something like this. We're going to sell uh, three times as many of the new ones, so look out for that. Kids. Not so much skating this one, of course. Yeah, more like, more naughty game. stuff, like rugs. It should be around about on the streets just as you're watching this just program. About I now. Call. Roughly, no. Now. <laughs> Welcome to Club Yayo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 